everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Reality of Wrestling. My name is the Bo Brad Gilmore, joined as always by Brittany Houtland, and of course, the historian Kirby Carrion. And speaking of historian, this is an historic night here in the Reality of Wrestling. The first episode of the row, all in Charmel's control. We saw the conclusion of the Summer of Champions, and it's going to play out in our main event. Two of the representatives in that main event, one from Booker, one from Charmel, will clash. Blake Cortez goes one on one with the grizzled vet, Ryan Davidson, in our main event. It's going to be a very exciting contest. It's going to be a huge test for Blake Cortez because this is his first singles match since returning to the reality of wrestling. And especially against going some against somebody like the grizzled vet, Ryan Davidson, it's going to be fireworks all over the place. And speaking of that, speaking of a grizzled vet, we go to a rookie sensation yet to be in Nathan Wasser, who we have found out is just a few weeks, if not a week away, from having to go back to Thunder Bay, Ontario. If he cannot get a win in a contract here at the Reality Wrestling, he's taking on the buzzer, Tommy Bolton. Well, all of the odds are stacked against him with the buzzer, Tommy Bolton. But, uh, I mean... I have a soft spot for, you know, the underdog. So I'm going to be rooting for him all the way. Okay. We're supposed to stay unbiased. But nevertheless, I am I, I am trying to stay my best to be unbiased. But we're going to hear and hear at the, the beginning of the show, we're going to hear from the former owner of the Reality of Wrestling, Booker T. So all that here tonight on the Reality of Wrestling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the uh, two-time Hall of Famer. The five-time WCW champion, but the former. Doing great. Doing great, boss. Hey, Book. It's good to see you. Yeah. Well, it's good to see. He seems to be in a jovial mood for a man who just lost control of his company. I mean, he, that, was, that was such a warm welcome. It was a very warm welcome. And uh, he just told me one thing. He doesn't listen to our commentary. <laughs> I haven't been the nicest to him as of recent. I mean, he's hugging babies. It was almost instinctual saying boss, but you're right, Brad. He's not the boss. We saw it last, we saw it at the Summer of Champions. Team Charmel won that fight. Team Charmel did, was victorious in the main event of the Summer of Champions. Team Charmel victorious, which means Booker T out of power. I am rather confused by, he is seems to be very jovial, but we're about to hear from the former owner and CEO of Well, he seems to be in a good mood. Guys, I just want to come out and say a few things. I want to, first and foremost, Sincerely, from the bottom, from the deepest parts of my heart, I want to apologize. I was, let's just say, under a lot of pressure over these last few months. And I must say, I made mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Who cast the first stone? Guys, I'm only human. But I just want to let everyone know that I'm, I'm back. All right? The God comes out. He's back. And everything is going to get back to business as you can you dig that? This is a big show. This is a big show tonight. The main event. My man. The mysterious two versus one of the greatest one. Wait a second. That's the queen right there. Well, there's the Hall of Famer herself. Referred to as queen, but you can refer to her as boss. Because we saw Team Charmel victorious at the Summer Champions, which means she's in full 100% control of the company. And Booker T comes out to apologize, which is great, but also seemed like he was about to make a match, which I don't believe is in his authority anymore. Uh, I don't think so. She does not look happy. I don't think she authorized us. Uh... Oh, whoa. Yo, what's up, baby me? You're back, huh? You're back? Is that what 
what you told everybody? You're back? Why don't you take a step to the back? Because things are not back to the moment. I am in charge. I am the boss. I won reality of wrestling fair and square. Wait, is, is Booker T being escorted? Yeah. Yeah. No. Wait, is Booker T going to be out, escorted out of the Booker T World Gym Arena? The level of, 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 of disrespect? But th didn't he just apologize? Come on, Kirby. The Queen has spoken. Booker T is atoning for the sins that he has cast upon the reality of wrestling locker room. Oh. Wait a minute. He's being thrown out of the arena. Booker T is being thrown out of the Booker T World Gym Arena. Through the crowd. Out the front door. Queen Charmel waving say, don't let the door hit you. You heard her. She's the boss. <laughs> what? Oh no no no! That's the wrong move, my man. What are you doing? What are you doing? You made me drop my phone. I know. I'm sorry. I'm I was sorry. in the no, middle no, no, of something. No no no! But did you just see what happened? Did, did, I you did. know what I was looking at? I was looking at Booker getting kicked out of the building. That's what I was looking at. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I was out there. So what happened? I didn't get to finish it because you smacked. Charmel done kicked his butt out the building. You saw the way that he was acting? Not out of the building, out the building. You saw the way that he was acting? Yeah, man. He was getting all crazy. You know what? He had it coming. Okay. Okay, man. We can argue that. But as this is happening, I, you feel the winds of change? What, what are you talking about? I mean, Charmel's in charge now. Things are going to change around here. Like, is it going to be for the better, for the worse? Oh, I mean, okay, 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 okay. I got, I got you now. Okay. You don't got to be all cryptic, man. I you know what? You're right. And change is good. Change is always good. It's, it's for a brighter future. And under Charmel. Well, but, 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 <laughs> 20 hours ago, you were literally saying, I hate change. I hate how you guys are hanging out with this guy and not that no, guy. No, 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 no. I was talking about currency. You know, it, it always jingles when you put it in your pocket. Then when you try to pull it out to pay, it falls on the floor and people try to grab it before you can even pick it up. You know, you know change. Yeah, not yes, change. Yes, Everybody yes, loves yes. change. Come on. Okay. Yeah, change. Anyway, speaking of change, mm -hmm. we have a match tonight with the Nature Boys. Woo! Ric Flair, huh? He's coming out of retirement? No, but, uh, um, it's the Nature Boy. The Nature Boys. There's two of them. Boys? Yeah, the Nature Boys. Not men? No. No, it's Nature Boys. So, uh, you, you, you know what? It doesn't even matter. We're going to take them to school. We're going to make them write down their notes. And then you know what? We're going to burn that book so they don't learn a damn thing. And then we're going to kick them out of the building just like Charmel did Booker. Ooh, that's deep. That's a deep cut. Dang. You know what? You're right. Hold on, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go call Booker. I'm gonna check on him. You gonna call him? Right right now. How do you have his phone number? The buzzer makes this walk down the aisle here at the World Gym Arena. We've seen Tommy the Buzzard Bolton almost exhibit a different level of confidence. He is definitely the king of the headbutts. And man, if he knocks you in the head with that cranium, you're down for the count. Tommy Bolton, though, he has been a very... He's always one of the toughest challenges and been the measuring stick here at the reality of wrestling. If you get a win over Tommy Bolton, that's a fantastic win for your record. And if you get a loss to him, that's nothing to scoff at either. This man is tough. He is indeed walking to the ring with a purpose there. Ready for his opponent. Nathan Wasser from Thunder Bay, Ontario, trained up in Canada, then made the pilgrimage 
here to the United States to train under the Hall of Famer Booker T. But uh, here's the thing, guys. Sometimes real life happens, and Nathan is going to have to go back to Canada if he cannot get a contract here at the Reality Wrestling. And so he's got to get a big win here tonight to put himself in line to get a full-time deal here at the Row. And what's more interesting about that is that he actually goes back to Canada in just one week's time, Brad. In just seven days, unless he can secure himself a deal, he goes back home. And this is his second stint here in the United States, trying to pick up some steam for himself in the reality of wrestling. And as I said before, Tommy Bolton, a humongous win. That would be on his record if he managed to pull it off. Well, you know what? Let's be honest, Brittany. It would just be a win on his record because he hasn't had one here in the reality of wrestling yet. That's got to trouble you as a performer, especially somebody who has the ability of an Nathan Wasser. Well, that's the thing is, Wasser seems to be having a lot on the line here. Not only his ability to be here in the U.S., but the ability to have a first win and, and bragging rights, if even, against Bolton. I mean... This man's got a lot on his shoulders. He absolutely does. We're going to get our opening bell here in just a moment. Nathan Wasser takes on Tommy the Buzzard Bolton. Crowd doesn't love the uh, Thunder Bay native, do they? I don't believe they do. Right now, they're definitely making sure that they they make themselves uh, felt here in the, in the World Gym Arena. But Nathan Wasser didn't really do himself any favors either. No, he didn't call it elbow time. Nathan Wasser, he's a hoss of an individual. I mean, that's a big dude when you're in the ring there with the buzzer Tommy Bolton and Nelson Mind Games. Point to the old noggin there. Don't know if he wants to uh, remind Bolton that head-to-head -head contact can happen. Oh, look at that. Got red suplex. Just throws him right down. For big stop misses and a single leg turns into the double for Tommy Bolton. Tommy Bolton takes him down and now trying to get a front guillotine on him. He gets it. Front guillotine. This could be all Nathan Wasser trying to shift the pressure of it in a bad position. Bolton smart here trying to end this quickly though. Nathan Wasser able to turn it into a arm bar of, of sorts. Got the arm pinned behind the back. That was this beautiful ground game from both men. They showed that no matter where this fight goes, whether it's a brawl, whether it's a jiu-jitsu fight, they're going to be match for match here. As right now, the power of Tommy Bolton in display, you can see him here breaking. Oh, full oh. Nelson, though. Full Nelson. Full Nelson by Nathan Wasser. Tommy Bolton has the fingers locked there. But Bolton, oh. oh, my God. He just broke the hold. Oh, a little low on that one. Referee allows it. Right hand, and another one. Nathan Wasser being a little extra aggressive in the exchanges here with Tommy Bolton. Had him outsmarted again. Oh! Caught a back elbow, though. Look at that, judo throw. Bolton on top. Oh, there's the head. Cover, one, two. Kick out there right at the two count. Did you notice a little extra aggression coming from Nathan Wasser? I definitely do. Right now, Nathan Wasser, maybe it's a little bit of desperation. He knows that he goes back home in a week, and he wants to get this victory by any means necessary. But right now, it looks like he's just running into a brick wall. Well, here's the thing with Wasser. He has everything to lose at this point. What does Bolton have to lose? Oh, yeah. Hold on, Fisherman Suplex. One, two. Shades of Kurt Hennig. And the West Texas Rednecks. A blast from the past there. Now you ask Brittany, what does Bolton have to lose? I think it's maybe more of his pride. He, ha he hasn't been having too many big wins here as of late. And maybe he just wants to get that momentum back as we know momentum is oh, everything God. here in the reality of wrestling. Oh! Speaking of momentum. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Reverse DDT. Cover. One, two. The slow kick out from Bolton there. Oh, he's clearly dazed and confused from that hit. 
kick to the back of the head. And there's though the arrogance of Nathan Wasser just smacking, slapping Tommy Bolton right there at the grill. Tommy, though, you're right, Kirby Carriana, has historically been one of the toughest outs, as they say, in pro sports here at the Reality of Wrestling. Oh. Nathan Wasser getting a cheap shot in right to the gut. And that's about the third or fourth time he's gone low in this contest. You were saying, Brittany? Yeah, it really is. You know, and like like you're saying, he has everything to lose. So he's going to pull out all the stops. I mean, you know, if you got to cheat, you got to cheat. Getting the win, that counts. Tommy Bolton, stand there, takeover. Against the ropes. Oh! And a diving European uppercut. Cover one, two. Kick out there right at two again. Indicates that Nathan Walser still has a lot left and a lot more to show. The buzzer just drove right through Nathan Wasser there, but right now I'm noticing that Nathan Wasser is being a very smart competitor. A lot of people don't know this, but this man is not only a college athlete, but he's also college educated. As right there, he drove Tommy Bolton again. Look at this, Brad. Two. Well, if you're playing college athletics, wouldn't you be attending classes too? You'd be surprised. <laughs> Cranking there on the neck of the buzzard. Not a good spot there for Bolton. When think about think about it this way, you know, obviously we know Tommy Bolton is lethal with his headbutt attacks. If you're right, working on the neck, maybe he can't use them, but right now Farman's carry position. Nathan Walser finds a way to get out of it. Oh, oh. golly! And just holds onto the right wrist of Tommy Bolton in a DDT there. This is where the traditional one, two, the kick out. Tommy still kicking out, but both men on the canvas. I think Wasser is trying to send a message right now. What better way to put down Tommy Bolton than to take him out with his head? You know, he's the headbutt king for a reason. He, he has one of the hardest heads here in the reality of wrestling. So if you can put him out with a DDT, that's a huge message sent. And Nathan Wasser getting away with a couple things. Big overhand chop there. And Jaw jacking with our referee. That just woke up the buzzard right there. Oh. Knife edge chop. Tommy Bolton returns the favor. Oh! And a poke to the eye. Nathan Wasser has done several things that he needs to be careful he's not disqualified there. A warning from referee Isaac Bouillon. I think that may have been the final warning right oh, there. No. He's got him in a sleeper. He's got that thing locked in deep. That is in deep. In deep and in the middle of the ring here. Tommy Bolton was trying to recover from the poke to the eye. And he ended up walking right into that sleeper hole. Can he break himself out of it? Row Nation trying to help. Shot to the low back. Sends him right into the turnbuckle. With a force, goodness. And again. Oh! All the way through to the post. And that ring post is solid, guys. Come on, Tommy. The hardest part of the ring, they say. I've heard. I've heard rumors. I've never verified for myself. And I don't know how smart of this this is from Nathan Wasser. This is just going to anger the buzzard. As you look at this right here, he's starting to come back. Oh. There's that headbutt. Is he going to follow up with a German suplex? Oh, no. This may be another L for Wasser. Wasser's in trouble here. Oh, spinning discus back elbow. Followed up with a straight up lariat. And the buzzer is feeling it. Cover. One, two. Nathan Wasser again. What? This time about two and a quarter. And the buzzer can't believe it himself. Thought that he had a win there. And this just shows the uh, resiliency of the uh, man from Thunder Bay, Ontario. But now he's circling his prey. Right now the buzzer is just going hunting. And Nathan Wasser looks to be the prey. Back in that fireman's carry. Oh, he's going for the buzzard's arrow. He has expended too much energy. And there he is. Straight up suplex. 
Now into the cover here. One, two, and a kick out from Tommy the Buzzard Bolton. That's what a win mean, means here for both these guys. They are just completely emptying, emptying their arsenal. You but can tell they're sucking wind too. I mean, they are they are feeling the effects of this match. I mean, it has not been a slow affair by any stretch of the imagination. Tries to get him up in a fairman's carry position. The buzzard gets him out, and now looking to return the favor. Oh, oh wait a minute! Good. Wait a minute! Oh. Gave it a reverse. One, two, three, and oh. Nathan Wasser gets the win. City, the home to the Reality of Wrestling Training Center. It's a 20,000 square foot facility with more than 50 full-time students and wrestlers from around the world. Inside the World Gym Arena sits a 9,000 square foot venue set up for weekly shows. From up top, one, two, one, He's done here, it's awesome. He's created opportunity, and he's creating great talent, as you guys well know. In the back, a full weight room. Six, up! Complete with state-of-the-art equipment and personal trainers. There you go, there you go. Two more, two more, two more, two more. A full staff and office personnel. One more, one more. Running the day-to-day -day operation. We have interview sets for TV production, promo classes, Quarterly combines. We evaluate progression and team building. At the World Gym Arena, we don't just teach you how to become a professional wrestler, but an elite sports entertainer. This is Reality of Wrestling. Recently, 
But, you know, speaking of La Familia, you talk about a very favorite of, of the Rogue Nation here. Even though their antics haven't really been too favorable as of late for you. They haven't been favorable. However, I mean, they have the grit and the tenacity. These are former champions. So, I hope the new debut team can bring it. Free Isaac Guyon trying to get make sure that everything is situated to get this match underway. <laughs> Looks like Jonathan Vega is going to be starting this contest for La Familia and Johnny Lyons on the side of the Nature Boys. Referee Isaac Bouillon making sure that both competitors are ready to go. And maybe it's a little bit of mind games here from Johnny Lyons towards Jonathan Vega. Maybe trying to make him make sure that he's out of his comfort zone right at the gate as the first lockup of the matchup is here. And Jonathan Vega already showing that he's maybe got more power than Johnny Lyons. Headlock takeover. And as we get started here, Brittany, I've got to ask, do you think that that experience, that familiarity between La Familia, how much is it really going to come into play here against the Nature Boys? I think that Shoulders is, down. I think that is actually a big factor here. I always say that a good tag team is just that, a team. And these two just starting to team up here um, might be trying as La Familia is family. Got that right, La Familia, one of the most tenured tag teams here in all of the reality of wrestling. We see the head scissors right here from Johnny Lyons, finally escaping that headlock. Oh! And showing off a little bit of his physical prowess here, Jonathan Vega managed to get a better positioning here. And look at that escape there, Brittany. Rolling and oh, and back. Right back. Beautiful headlock takeover there. Lyons right back on the mat. We have seen Jonathan Lyons here before in action at the Reality of Wrestling, but never in this kind of caliber of tag team competition. Recently, we've actually seen Dylan Fleer himself win the King of the Summer Battle Royal at last month's Summer of Champions oh, event. So we know that D Dylan Fleer has the momentum coming into this matchup. He does indeed, but talk about momentum. There goes His Vega. Are down. Back down two. But look at Jonathan Lyons here. Managed to escape every single pin attempt. As now he just swings himself forward and now a kick to the midsection. Managed to break free and oh! I, th I think the correct answer there is woo! It is indeed. It's oh, Vega though. Oh! oh, beautiful boot to the face. Able to stop it completely. Now that double axe handle connects. Jonathan Vega is feeling it. Now look at this, Jonathan Vega. 
the exciting style of La Familia in full display here thus far. Send and Lion flying there. Oh. Into the cover, shoulders down, one, two, and Dylan Fleer able to break it up there. Good for Dylan there. I mean, that that is true tag team. That's that's partnership right there. So I, I, have, I have slight maybe hope for, for this new Nature Boys. Oh. Big scoop slam right there from La Familia, as now we're going to see the familiarity here, no pun intended, from La Familia. Oh! oh. I don't know if that shot went low or maybe just to the backside of Johnny Lyons. No familia for Lyons there. David De La Cruz here, what's he thinking? This has got Johnny Lyons set up. Oh my God! That soccer style kick to the lower back connected and the shot just reverberated around the arena here. <laughs> and the crowd out for blood wants him to do it yet again. But Johnny Lyons, look at the separation. As again, he just gets taken over, but David De La Cruz just set him up for it again. The shoulders down into the cover, one, two, but no, a big kick out from Johnny Lyons. And Dylan not even looking at his partner in frustration, wasn't reaching out as, as Johnny was trying to get to him. He's got to do something here, Brittany. Johnny Lyons has taken the brunt of maybe all the attack here from La Familia as he got caught up there. And Dylan Fleer needs to make a tag here. Oh my God. Definitely take the brunt of the canvas there, face first. But seems to be begging for, oh. Taking a page out of the dirtiest player in the book for sure. We've seen Ric Flair do that many times in his matches to create separation one way or another. And right now Johnny Lyons connecting with those forearm shots. Oh! But he got caught with that reverse atomic drop. And now La Familia with another tag here. Jonathan Vega, the legal man. This is definitely, again, tag teams at their finest. There's a reason that they were champions. Now, Brittany, I've got to ask here, as Johnny Lyons connects with that close line, do you think that a win here over La Familia could catapult the Nature Boys into the top of the division? I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but here we go. We're going to see, uh, see what Dylan can do here. The big shots there. Oh, my God, to the solar plexus, it looked like. Maybe to the rib area of Jonathan Vega, as now we're getting our first taste of Dylan Fleer in this matchup. But here's the problem, Kirby, is I'm seeing... Oh, my God. Oh! Tit for tat there. Showing him. You want chops, you got chops. And now another tag here is David De La Cruz. You said you, you saw a problem here. Uh, the problem is Johnny Lyons not even up on the apron. He's taking a breather there. On the side of the ring. Now look at these forearm shots here from Dylan Fleer. As he gets into the ropes, jumps over David De La Cruz and gets caught with that single and drop kick. Almost bouncing back towards the ropes and I think Johnny Lyons trying to make his way back into the ring to try and get a tag. But now Dylan Fleer is just being pieced apart by La Familia. Very similar to what he did to Johnny Lyons earlier in this matchup. I mean, this is the thing is they are tactical, they're methodical. La Familia knows exactly what to do in the ring work as partners. The Nature Boys have been singles competitors for quite some time, so they have the habit of working as singles competitors. And now look at this into the cover. One, two, but a big kick out from Dylan Fleer. Still showing signs of life. So now La Familia is going to have to start figuring out how they're going to be able to put away this new tag team. I mean... I feel like they're doing quite a good job right now of just, you know, beating and chopping and wearing Dylan down here. Look at this here. Dylan finally able to figure something out, but Johnny Lyons, that was a big plan. And now a big move inside the ring here. The shoulders are down one, two, but no, Jonathan Vega. So close there for Dylan Fleer. It's definitely going to take more than that to put La Familia away. Vega still in this. Now the big shoulders here driven into the midsection of Jonathan Vega. And look at this, Johnny Lyons looking for a tag. They got it. Johnny Lyons the legal man, and this is going to be where we're going to see the Nature Boys possibly cutting the ring in half and showing that they have been working on stuff together as a tag team. Another quick tag. Here 
There we go. That's that's showing promise here for the Nature Boys. Maybe it just took a little bit to warm up to get started. Put some oil on those gears, and now they are working together. Oh. But. Oh, look at that. Dylan Fleer. Very smart to use the ref there. But now the Nature Boys are just taking advantage of the situation. They are, but they better be careful. Our referees have eyes in the back of their head here at the World Gym Arena. Another tag there from Dylan to Johnny. And those quick tags are keeping each other fresh. Those quick tags are cutting that ring in half, making sure that Jonathan B can't get to his tag team partner. And that right there is tag team wrestling, which is what you love to see here at the Reality of Wrestling, especially when the now former boss was Booker T. But speaking of fight back. Oh! Oh no! Oh, the big backstabber! Talk about backstabber though. Johnny Lyons hitting Dylan own partner. I don't know how that's gonna have these two work out here. This place is coming alive for Jonathan Vega as the referee continues to count. He's up to five. But Vega's got a long way to go, but there he goes. Oh, the tag. There we go. Diego De La Cruz coming in with a big clothesline. And now back elbow. And this is what La Familia is all about. But Johnny Lyons there. Look at this, he got caught though. Has him up on the shoulders. And now he's just trapped in the dive. I think Diego De La Cruz thought that Johnny Lyons was the legal man. Uh, that's the thing, is in a tag match it can get confusing when more than two people get in there. And look at it here, La Familia setting up. Oh, for the big elbow drop. We've seen him win championship losers before. Shoulders are down, two, but no, Dylan Fleer manages to kick out of one of the biggest moves in La Familia's arsenal. That is impressive. I don't think that the crowd was ready for that. They thought that La Familia had this in the bag, but oh, what is this? Johnny Lyons again pulling Vega outside, oh. driving him into the corner post, but now the shoulders are down, too, and he got him! Solar Screens has been an industry leader and we proudly use 100% American made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circle? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55, $55. Any size, any color, install free. The king of solar screens on time every time. Now, can you dig that, sucker? Victory for Team Charmel. It was Will All Day that delivered the autograph to Booker T yes. and won the match for Team Charmel. Yes, Will All Day here. Oh. Well, he'll get to us eventually. Don't worry, <laughs> Brad. We'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. So He's definitely soaking in the adulation. Will, welcome. Thank Great you. to have you. Thank you. Welcome. Take a seat. There's your headset. Front row, best seat in the house. That's right. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on the big win at the Summer of Champions. 
big head was in this. <laughs> uh, thank you, Brad. Thank you very much. You know, uh, I didn't, I didn't foresee it happening that way, but man, was it oh so sweet when it did. Well, there's Blake Cortez, who was on the losing team in Team Booker versus Team Storm Ellis Summer of Champions. Yeah. Don't look this way. You don't want this. Not again. I mean, look, he made his return to the reality wrestling end that match. You have to admit, Will, all day that he is a physical specimen, is Blake Cortez. Yeah, he really is. Yeah, I mean, think about the potential of Blake Cortez. Think about the athletic build. Think about the athleticism. The only thing he's really missing is confidence in who he is, and I think he's gaining that every single time he steps in the ring. Absolutely. This is a man who was picked hand-picked by Booker T to, to represent him on his team. Again, not to a victorious effort. We'll see if he can co course correct here this evening. Here we go. There he is. One of your teammates, Will, all day. The cornerstone of the company, the first man to ever Good luck, baby. be a Grand Slam champion here at the row. Grizzle, Ryan Davidson. Well, and as you said, Brad, course correctness for Cortez. This is going to be a heavy obstacle course here going against Ryan Davidson. Yeah, think about all the star power that was in the ring uh, with that Team Charmel versus Team Booker, and this guy, the Bear, Ryan Davidson, was the team captain. That says a lot about who was out there. That says a lot about who was on our team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you had a great team. Stephen Wolf, Gino, Ed Stone, yourself, and Ryan Davidson. I mean, it is a who's who here in reality of wrestling. We will see, though, now with Blake Cortez's first singles match, Cat, since, uh, you know, he went over to WWE. He was a part of NXT. And we'll see, I mean, that's got to do a lot to your mentality. It really does. I mean, he has seen the mountaintop. He was there, and you don't think back down. And the losing at Summer of Champions, I mean, he's got a lot to gain here. His confidence needs to come back to him. I mean, you know exactly what it's like to be in the ring uh, with Ryan Davidson and against Ryan Davidson. He is a grizzled vet, and uh, the experience is definitely in his column here. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. And, and like I said, I can't say enough good things about Ryan as a competitor. You know, he is the captain, and he's a leader, and he's about to lead Blake Cortez to an ass whooping right here. Well, we're about to find out. Collar and elbow tie up there in the center of the ring. Control goes to Ryan Davidson. Blake Cortez, though, has a lot of root strength and power. This is one of those things you always hear the term, this guy doesn't know how strong he is. Yep. This guy doesn't know how strong he really is. No, he really doesn't. He doesn't know how high he can jump. He doesn't know how fast he can run. This guy really is, like you said, a specimen. This guy is oh, a gorilla. He's oh. a beast. Oh. Silverback style is it with Blake Cortez. But let's talk for a minute to you, Will Alday. Of course, you delivered the autograph that gave Charmel a 100% control of the company. I gotta ask, what's next for you? I mean, what do you have your eye on? What do you want to do in this post-Booker T era? Man, that is something that I never thought I would be able to answer. I thought, with all the stuff that was going on with Booker, that I, I was just gonna be done and out of here. So Charmel to reach her hand out and make that call and bring me in was, was pretty special. And she actually made a promise to me, Brad. What's that? She made a promise that I can choose any match that I want, any person. And so right now what I'm doing is a little bit of scouting, but I'm also just brainstorming. I'm also thinking, who do I want that to be? Because I don't take this lightly. This is a one-time thing. This isn't, I'm just gonna choose somebody off the top of my head, you know? It's, it's something that I gotta take time to sit and really, really think about what I want. Yeah, it's not every day that your boss gives you a blank check, and it's also not every day, oh, that Ryan Davidson oh. is now being taken Ooh. advantage of from Blake Cortez. Some stiff shots there on the corner. Irish whip reverse from the grizzled vet. There's some of that athleticism, but Ryan Davidson had it well scouted, Brittany. I think oh. that deserved an oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very much did. I mean, Ryan is the vet here, but I'm really shocked. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. You're watching the reality of wrestling. Walker, Texas Ranger handles the bad guys with a roundhouse kick. I'm Jim Walker, Walker, Texas lawyer. I handle the insurance companies with a roundhouse kick to the wallet. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, give me a call at 713-552-1117 or visit my website at walkertexaslawyer.com. You'll be glad you did. Why would you call anyone else? Brady, this brawl is now gone to outside. Ryan Davidson going to utilize that 10 count to add a little bit more punishment to Blake Cortez. Oh, yeah. oh, is. Cortez is going to learn today that the grizzled vet here and Ryan Davidson does not pull any punches. Now, you know it's bad. You know it's bad when the wrestler's over here going, oh, <laughs> I know how those feel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a big shoulder block right there. Blake Cortez almost just crippled with that shot, but now, oh, oh, oh man. man, a sweep of the leg, and Ryan Davidson goes spawn first on the apron, and then a double drop kick, or a drop kick, excuse me, right to the, the base of the back. Yeah. Almost to the base of the neck, really. Jeez. You might have been right there. Oh, no, oh. Oh. right into the post. Spinal column meets ring post. Never a good outcome competitor in that scenario. Ring post wins every time. <laughs> every time, brother, every time. And that's what you were saying, Will, is he's been in the business for 18 years. That's 18 years worth Cover of Over here, hold on, hold on. Kick out. 18 years worth of beatings on Ryan Davidson. I mean, Cortez is a little more fresh, per se, mm. in, in, this, in this matchup. Yeah, he is. He is. And you know what? Every time Ryan has a contest, a match, I see him in the back, and he's he's warming up for 45 minutes. Blake Cortez puts his clothes on and walks straight out. Yeah, yeah but a lot, of, a lot of that's just that natural athleticism that we talked about. This man spent time in the United States military. He has a, a, a unique conditioning. Cover here. One, two that most aren't naturally gifted with. Yeah, and you know what? I, I've seen him train. I've seen him in the back uh, before, just on his own. And you know he busts his ass every time he's in here. He's, he's putting the work in, even when the cameras aren't on. I am intrigued by the one wish, uh, for lack of a better term, that's being granted to you from Queen Charmel. But let me ask you this. To deliver the autograph to the chin of Booker T, the man who help train you, the man whose name is on the side of this building where you've won so many classic matches. What did it mean to do that? I mean, it was just a culmination of the four and a half years that I've been doing this. It's, no, oh God, look at that. It, it means a lot, man, it really does. It, it, it's, it's knowing that I can get the job done. I, you know, I've always said that, I've always believed that, and to prove that, to not just myself, but everybody around watching. It, it means a lot to me knowing that I stepped in there with one of the greatest of all time. Cover here, hold on, one, two, and a kick out. A two-time Hall of Famer in Booker T, and I show that I belong. Not only do I belong, but I belong at the top where Booker T is, and you know, that's what I'm trying to prove here every time I step in a reality wrestling ring. I think the fans would agree with you as now the boots to the upper back between the shoulder blades. And that's the thing, Will, is that you do belong. You've proven that time and time again. And you talking about this blank check, as it were, are you looking to face somebody that's potentially has the championship around their belt? Well, I mean, if you ask that question, you got to ask the question about Terrell Tempo, who I have been in the ring with. You have to ask the question about Clay Roberts, who I have yet to be in the ring with. Then you have to ask the question about Mysterious Q. You have to let see. Suplex from Grizzled Ryan Davidson trying to shift back into the power seat in this match. Blake Cortez reeling from that suplex and now Ryan Davidson getting back to a vertical base. This reality of wrestling crowd, the Rogue fans are strictly behind him. Oh. Little kick there, cutting off momentum. Back elbow. Second one there. Fired up is Ryan Davidson. Reversal. Oh, oh. Looking for a running 
bulldog here. No, turn. Oh, there we go. Cover here. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half from Blake Cortez. This kid's got a lot of fight, Brad. I, he does, Will, but I will say he didn't kick out with the same authorities that he did earlier. You can tell the effects of the offense from Ryan Davidson are having a major effect on Blake Cortez. Absolutely. Every time that bear lariat hits, it, you don't know if somebody's getting up from that or not. Oh, and Ryan is ready here. Looking for it here. Oh. oh. Ducks it. Back suplex. Blake Cortez applauding for himself. He's going to get himself in trouble. Uh, that's the problem, too, also. I mean, him being so young, he's taking his time. He could have had Ryan Davidson pinned there, one, two, three. Here he goes against the rope. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Whoa, that power slam. Atomic drop. Stupid a slam. Is he going to go for it? Trap fist drop cover here. One, two, and a no. Oh, what? Literally a trap. Your head is trapped between the mat and Ryan Davidson's fist every time he hits that. That's not a place that you want to be. No. <laughs> not at all. But Cortez still in this. And Ryan, oh, ripping off the elbow pads. Looking for that Davidson driver. This is your main event this week here on the Reality of Wrestling. Can Davidson get him out? Oh, wait a minute, though. Uh oh. Davidson seems to not believe it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and for good reason. And I even fell for it. For good reason. A freak athlete. And look at that. An STO. Could that be all? Cover. One, two. And that's a no. Oh. Ryan Davidson, at the last possible moment, gets the shoulder up. I mean, do you think that that was just pure muscle memory here from this veteran? Or is he actually still has something left in the tank? I think Ryan Davidson always has something left in the tank. He is a special performer. And right here, looking for that. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, that was a scary place to be in for Blake Cortez. And this for you, Will. That's got to be it. Cover. One, two, three. There we go.